Now done. Brian Ramsey in for Jason Stiff tonight with a look at our weekend weather. Hopefully it continues like we saw today. Yeah, the weather is actually going to be pretty nice in the coming week. However, we do have some very warm temperatures heading our way and some stronger winds with dry conditions, which also means fire danger. So I have a live look outside right now. This is from Trinity Center Airport uh, now at Trinity Lake and Trinity County. A gorgeous day out there. You still see a few of those mountains, still a little snow capped at the top. Some sunny skies outside. Current temperatures right now sitting in the mid 70s in the valley. 80 degrees now in Orland, but keep in mind Orland's weather station does run a little warm, so they're probably just in the upper 70s. And then we're seeing 60s to 70s in the mountains. 70s right now in Trinity County. So it's a warm day. We're going to get cool again tonight. Mild, clear skies, mid 40s for overnight lows in the valleys and 30s in the mountains, maybe 20s, upper 20s in the Modoc County. Highs tomorrow, though, getting back into the upper 70s and a few 80 degree temperatures will be possible tomorrow. So tomorrow is getting warmer than what we are today and we're going to continue that warming trend into Sunday. The relative humidity right now, though, we have seen a few fires pop up and that's because the humidity is very dry and the vegetation is dry, so it's easy for fires to burn. The good news is they're not going to go very far when they do burn because the winds are pretty light and blowing about 10 miles per hour right now in Chico and in Redding. Overall, that's not that bad. It could be a whole lot worse and it's pretty early in the season too, so that's good news. But we do have some changes on the way. This low pressure system, which is right now way up in Canada, it's going to be sliding down to our east and as it does so, it's going to bring some strong north winds and east winds into our area. That's a downslope wind, which means it's going to be dry. But it's also wind, so if a fire catches, it will be easy for that fire to spread on Sunday, Monday, maybe into Tuesday, at least in the morning hours. That's when I'm expecting the winds to get strong. How strong, though? Let's go ahead and show you right now. Uh, let's time it out. Future gusts uh, are going to be anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour on Saturday, so that's tomorrow. But they're going to get a little stronger as we go into the overnight hours. So early on the morning on Sunday, we're already seeing wind gusts of 20 miles per hour. And this is going to be the strongest in the western part of the valley. So Tehama County, Glen County, that's the area I'm watching. They could gust up to 30 miles per hour. Also seeing another strong band of wind possible in the foothill regions as well on Sunday. And that will extend into Monday as well. Tomorrow's forecast, National Farm Animals Day, 71 degrees for lunch. That high temperature at about 79 degrees. Your seven day forecast in Chico Hive 79 for tomorrow back in the 80s on Sunday all the way into the mid 80s on Monday and getting pretty breezy Sunday through Tuesday. Once we go to Wednesday, we're back in the upper 70s overnight lows back in the 40s. As for Reading, I have 79 for tomorrow, 80s on Sunday and Monday. Back in the 70s for the rest of the week, overnight lows probably right around 50, but we keep the sunshine and dry conditions all week. Thank you, Brian. Doctors in Japan say they've achieved a medical first successfully performing.